Hey, Mike here. So I wanted to show you this new tool by stability.ai called SDXL Turbo, which is a real time text to image generator. So first off, the address for the website is clipdrop.co, which is a company by stability.ai. And then it's forward slash stable dash diffusion dash turbo. This URL will be within the description down below. Let's sign in here. I'm going to sign in real quick. All right. So I just signed in and once you're signed in, you will see a my account in the top right hand corner. Now, let's get right into it. So whenever you click this enter your prompt, if you click in here, it's going to take you into this page right away. And you can start using it right off the bat. So there's no need to subscribe yet. It basically gives you a free trial of sorts the moment that you start your account. So now we can just start typing in whatever we'd like to generate. So let's do something nice and simple. Let's do a cat and there are no cuts i want to make sure that this is very clear i'm not cutting the video or the audio this is all being recorded live on my little laptop here so the speed in which you see this all being generated is the speed that it normally is so there's no jump cuts or anything so a cat <clears throat> eating a tuna fish so eating some tuna but now it's eating a tuna fish so you can see that there's really very little wait time in between how long it takes for the image generator to process that image. Let me show you the difference one more time. So a cat eating a tuna, if we remove the word fish, it will regenerate the image. Oh, it actually is a tuna fish once again. So let's do eating a can of tuna. And let's see, now we have a cat eating a can of tuna. Let's make this a little more interesting. Let's do something that would be hard to imagine, such as a blue dyed polar bear eating a burrito. So let's do that. Let's see what that looks like. So it's a polar bear that has a blue dye to its fur, and it's seemingly eating a burrito. Let's do in the sea underwater. Let's see what that looks like. So now it's underwater. It's a blue dyed polar bear eating a burrito in the sea underwater. So as you can see, it really does generate in real time exactly what you want it to generate. Uh, this tool is great for figuring out what kind of thumbnails you want. If you want to add specific keywords to whatever it is that you're generating. Let me show you an example of that. So let's do a comma here and type in cyberpunk style and see what happens there so it goes from a realistic image to let's see what it generates here uh a more cyberpunk kind of pastel style i don't really like the way that this looks let's add a sci-fi realistic future vibe let's see what that looks like yeah i mean doesn't really work too well it seems like the more words that you use the less um what's the right word here correct it is i suppose for lack of a better term here let's try to lower the amount of words here so let's do a polar bear eating a burrito and let's see what happens there so it eats a burrito cyberpunk style so it's just a polar bear eating a burrito now uh, let's do just a polar bear in the cyberpunk style that's more cyberpunky in my opinion let's remove that sci-fi realistic future vibe Let's make it uh, robotic, Let's see what that looks like. That's not really a robotic. Let's add the descriptor here, a robot polar bear. There we go. Now it's turning more so into what we're looking for here. So as you can see, every time I switch around a word or add something, remove something, it re regenerates automatically whatever it is that we have visible on the screen. There are a limited amount of tries that you can use this on the free subscription. We're just going to keep using until it prompts me to, you know, pay and subscribe. So let's remove this whole polar bear thing and let's instead do something with a goat. So a flying goat eating popcorn. And it's a flying goat, as you can see. And now it's just a goat eating popcorn popcorn i don't think it's flying necessarily so again this tool is not perfect that's something that you have to keep in mind you're not going to get exactly what you want because keep in mind this is the 
turbo version of stable diffusion. If you want something that's way more high quality and will truly listen to what you want um, to write in, that would be probably something that you would have to pay for a premium version for. Or utilize something like Dolly 3, which I believe is still free to use when you use it through the Bing chat. Uh, if you're interested in that, let me know. I can do a video on that topic as well. Let's do a girl taking out the trash in the middle of the night. Let's see what that, oh, it's more of a cartoony style. So let's see if we can switch this cartoony style into something more realistic. Realistic, photographic, let's see. Oh, and there we go. We've hit the limit there. So now, no matter what we do, it won't generate anymore. You have reached the usage cap. So this is a great way to test out if you do find this beneficial. Maybe it's just a gimmick of a tool for you to use and have some fun with for, I don't know, five minutes. Or it's something that will allow you to really grasp how image generation is working right now. And if this is, I would say this is a pretty bad version of, of image generation. But imagine if you like the way that, you know, the results have looked so far, imagine what the premium versions of this would look like. Thank you for watching and I will see you again tomorrow.